Hi everyone, welcome, it's Emily. So today I'm gonna to take you on the journey of deep cleaning my bed. And I know you're probably thinking, what? Deep cleaning your bed? But yes, this is an area of the house I think a lot of us forget to actually clean. And I'm not talking changing your sheets, like you better change your sheets, that's just gross if you don't. But actually cleaning your mattress and underneath your bed, those two areas and your pillows can create a lot of allergies and that doesn't allow you to have a good restful night's sleep. So I have actually, partnered up with Protect the Bed for today's video. And they are a company that create mattress and pillow encasements. Now, um, if you're like me, I just have a regular um, waterproof cover on my bed and I thought that's really like all I needed. Um, just to prevent like stains and accidents from happening, things like that. But that is not the case. I didn't know this, but within two years time, your pillow alone can accumulate up to a half pound of dust mites in it. Like that's repulsing and seriously just gross. So that is why I'm going to show you how to deep clean your bed today. Our mattress is also an area that can create a lot of bacteria and things like that. So Protect the Bed has a mattress encasement and pillow encasements that basically protects it from mold and mildew, from pollen, from dust mites and bed bugs, but it's 100% waterproof, breathable, and it doesn't make a lot of noise, which is obviously you don't want to be, you know, making a racket when you're sleeping. So that is why I'm going to show you how to clean your bed today. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do be sure to give it a thumbs up and I hope that if this is something that you need to do take me into your room and let's start cleaning our beds together all right let's get started so the first thing I like to do is obviously take off your uh, comforter and all of your sheets and strip the bed down to its bare bones Once I get everything stripped down, I will go ahead and start with my pillows and put those in the washing machine on a hot cycle and then I will put them in the dryer for at least 30 minutes. That way it cooks anything that is still left behind. I take off my old mattress cover and then I will just start vacuuming my actual mattress. So it doesn't matter what type of mattress you have, it's a good idea to vacuum it. You'd be surprised at how much stuff is actually on your mattress. Once you have that done, I will just go ahead and rotate. My mattress, mine is a foam one, so I don't flip it. If you have a spring mattress, I would suggest flipping it. And then I just take some baking soda and apply that all over. And this helps deodorize it. And I let that sit for a few hours. If you can, the longer the better. And then just go ahead and vacuum that up. I'll move the mattress back out and then I will start dusting the frame and the box spring area below. I don't have an actual box spring, mine is just a um, platform bed. Next I'm applying my Protective Bed Allergy Zip Smooth Mattress Encasement. The thing I like about this is that um, it has a miracle membrane on it so it protects against allergens, dust mites, um, mold, mildew, pet dander, and pollen. It has a waterproof membrane like I said in the beginning and it um, is certified by the Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America. It has a 10 year manufacturer warranty and it's made of a really flexible jersey knit polyester fabric. So if anytime you need to take it off and clean it, you can do so. It's super easy to put on and take off. I am really happy with this product. And I could not recommend this enough. I like how easy it is. It has a three sided zipper for protection and it has a six sided waterproof protection on it. So. Um, if you guys would like to go check it out, I think you guys will really, really like it. I'll leave a link down in the description box for you to go do so. It's by Protective Bed, and these are the Allerzip pillow covers. They also have a box spring encasement too, so if you have a traditional style bed, you are covered from head to toe, literally. So um, I just go ahead and then put my pillow cases on and make my bed like normal. Once the top of the bed is done, then I will go ahead and go down to the bottom. This is where I keep a lot of my seasonal decor and florals, uh, just because it's a good hiding place and there's space underneath there. So I just like to wipe down each of the containers, and if some of uh, the containers actually had a little bit more um, fuzz and dust on them than I expected, so I use my 
uh, vacuum just to vacuum it up and then wipe them down. And then once I got done with that, then I went ahead and just vacuumed the actual floor underneath. continued the process on the opposite side of the bed and you guys would be surprised at how many kid toys I found underneath our bed. But I swear there's toys everywhere when you have kids. Um, but definitely I suggest you deep clean your bed every few months. It is something that we are spending eight to nine hours of our day in and so it accumulates and gets dirty and it's just a good thing to take care of it and clean it just like we would cleaning our kitchen. So uh, here I am just putting my debate cover back on. It was uh, in the dryer when I was doing the rest of it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to go check out Protect a Bed and their Aller Zip uh, mattress encasement and pillow covers. I hope you guys have a beautiful day and I will see you soon.